how does she beat one of the original members of our future very talented rapper very wild too but despite all his talent he didn't really get as big as Ross Westshirt, Frank Ocean, Tyler Creator. I think he should be up there. He released his last album, The Fireplace Like the Other Side, in 2016. And it was actually one of the last projects released on the I Future label. He made a rap duo with Left Brain called Mellow Hype. And Demo Genesis was added to later on. They released three albums. Also in 2015, he had some quote unquote beef with Tyler the Creator. He was calling him a fraud and all that. He talked about it in Camp Flog and all. 2015, Tyler got on the mic. He said he, can, he had him fucked up. Niggas got me fucked up. I put too many niggas on. I helped too many of my motherfucking friends out. And niggas gonna come foul. And you know who the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. And yes, it's getting real. I love you though. But a few months after that, they were back cool again. In 2022, he started making music. He released his EP entitled. In interviews, you actually say that he was actually had drug problems during the time for Odd Future and all that. Like all that time, he was he was going through a lot of stuff, you know. I had drug problems. He went into rehab. Like, you know, it was crazy because uh, as soon as I got out of rehab, I was supposed to, they recommended 90 days, I stayed for 30. Afterwards, you know, you're supposed to go to uh, a halfway, what is it called? Uh, the halfway house? Not halfway, but like a fucking uh, rehabilitation home or whatever. You're supposed to live there for a bit. I didn't do any of that. I recovered off of drugs, straight drop, no medication, no nothing. I just cold turkey, and uh, I don't know. I recovered quite quickly, but yeah, I moved up here right after. So this was pretty much like my the home that I rehabilitated in. Not pretty much explains why you know he didn't make music that much for a while. He had to focus on his health. I'm glad he did. Really, yeah, right. He moved from LA to Toronto, and it's, and he posts on his Instagram sometimes, you know, some cryptic messages and stuff. But he deletes them after. And he's still active on Instagram. People often wonder if he was still cool with Tyler, because they never made music together again. Or less the our future cool besides the left brain. But he never really like talk with them, never seen them together. But he clarified, like, you know, he never had a problem with Tyler. You know what I'm saying? They, they all cool. They're just doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? He just having, like, been with them. Beef with Tyler. Uh, I more so have beef with myself. And I just projected it. So I never actually had a, a real problem with T. Like, just, just, I don't even know what I'm saying, but that's just for like, it's just on record. Like, I've never had a problem with really anyone. The problem that I had was myself. And I found myself and other people, and I didn't like myself for that. He was at the Our Future reunion in 2018. But yeah, I really do look forward to hearing other music from Hadashi. He's a really skilled rapper with a lot of talent. Stoop to your level. I'm coolin' and coofin' a rebel. I'm sorta of juice, mix the fruity loops and the pebbles. Hootie, who knows the devil's cruella? Simon said to tell him to perish and never come back to heaven forever. She's feelin' a fella, loves a killer, a felon, and I'm cleanin' the resin. Mellow it in the present. The gift was destined, sweet melon. Fairy tells it, title tells you tellin'. You tried your luck, a fixated on number sevens. Leprechauns, 11 levels, benevolent. Helen Keller and Ellen, feminine requisites help to skelter when I get jealous of predators. They praying on my fault, they'll never draw down. Too intelligent. Uh.